Hello everybody, welcome back to Papa Saw Shop. I'm Papa. And uh, so today we I just wanted to talk to you just a little bit um, about something that a little whippersnapper came in and, and told me the other day. He uh, he came in, he picked up a, a Papa Saw Shop original rebuild. And uh, basically it, uh, it's a saw that starts out something like this guy. And, uh, and we get... We get these saws by the truckload. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Um, you can kind of see behind me here, some of them on the shelf. We get we get these guys of all shapes and sizes and all years making models. And and, uh, and we turn them into, we'll zip around here. And, oh, back behind me back here, you can see the blast cabinet where we clean up some parts. And But you can see up there on the top shelf, that's that's kind of some of the some of the saws that we build. So let me get back to the whippersnapper at hand. So I had this fella came in and he bought he bought a um, oh he bought an MS two hundred little tree saw and we we got when we got it it was it was just like one of these girls up here completely completely worthless. Just all it was was just a casing out in the out in the barn, and um, so we got it and we built it all up and we put we put all of our stuff in it and uh, we built her up and he was he was he was just tickled as a fly in uh, well you know what flies play in but anyway. Uh, and he said to me, he said, you know, Papa, you know what you should do? You should start making your own saws. You should have like a Papa's brand saw. And I've been thinking about that all week. And it occurs to me, Whipper Snapper, you don't know what you just bought. <laughs> so we take these girls here. Okay. And now if, if, if you don't mind aftermarket parts, we'll put those in, and we'll save you a little money. If you want all authentic steel parts, and you want it to be pretty, like this right here, and everything will be all shiny and pretty and everything, and it'll be just perfect inside and all that stuff, well, it'll cost you a little more, but we can do that too if that's what you want. But I'm here to tell you, in this shop, it really doesn't matter. Now, Papa Shop, Papa Shop does a two-year warranty. And I was talking to a logger here a while back, and he said, how long is your warranty? And I said, how long would you like it to be? He said, well, you don't have to get smart about it. And I said, well, you don't have to get dumb about it. Because here's what I say. I work on plenty of steel 031s, 041s, 054s, and you can tell me, well, they don't build them like they used to, blah, blah, blah. Ah, bull. I don't believe any of that. Okay, well, the new saws, they got plastic. They got a lot more plastic, and, and some of the things aren't, aren't metal like they used to be. I'll give you that. But you know what? A dumbass is a dumbass. If you are the person that has your saw and you throw it in the back of your truck and you don't even care and you throw it out there like yesterday's trash and you use whatever gas, whatever oil to put it in there and and chain might be loose all day and you just run it like that. Well, you know what? Things are going to happen. And pardon me, but that makes you a dumbass. And if you're a dumbass... Your saw is probably not going to last too long anyhow. So you should go down to Steel, Husqvarna, Echo, whoever. You should just buy you a new saw every year. It's going to cost you money, but hey, it kind of costs a little more money when you're stupid. So um, that's just the way life is. But I'm telling you right now, I know how to build a saw. And I'm, I'm not just whistling Dixie, and I'm not just bragging on myself. I've been doing this for 40 years now. So I've made some mistakes and I still make a few mistakes, but not too many when it comes to building a saw. 
and I know what works, and I know what don't work. I know that I have had plenty, and I'm not going to mention no names, but I've had plenty of name brand heads that didn't even make it out the door. There was a flaw before I even got it built. And would they warrant it? Eh, maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? And a lot of times, it's just too much hassle. If it's an aftermarket part, will they warranty? You're damn right they'll warranty it. They'll warranty it right now. And they'll pay me to put it back together if it fails. I don't have any name brand saw manufacturers that'll pay me to put a saw back together if it fails. Most of the time, they'll blame it on you. You did something wrong. Well, I'm here to tell you, if I built the saw right, and you run the saw, and you treat the saw the way it's supposed to be treated, I don't care about that warranty. We can have a 100-year warranty. We can have a 1,000-year warranty if that's what you want to have. I don't give a damn. We can have as long as you want. Because as long as I know how to build a saw, and as long as you know how to take care of a saw, then that saw is going to last you just like at 031, the 054, that you name all the zero numbers. It's, it's just going to last. It's going to hang in there. I know guys been using saws MS series since they first came out with the MS series. I've talked to guys that try to get their business, and they say, Papa, I don't even need your business. I, I clean my saw. I do it myself. I know my saw from... In inwards, outwards, I know everything about it, and I just take care of it. I, I just never have any problems. When I do, I'll come to you and I'll get it, and and they come to me for things like pull string, you know, maybe a, maybe a sprocket every now and then, sharpen a chain, but very seldom do those guys ever come get a bar from me. They just don't burn them out. Those guys never buy a clutch from me just doesn't happen so I could go on but I won't but the fact is I want to go over just just a minute or two here about some of the differences that we do here at Papa Saw Shop okay now I'm just going to show you an old MS 420 MS 420 head okay and this is just for display purposes only so you know, don't don't email me a bunch of nasty letters and say, well, you know, on this on this other type it's different. Well, I'm just I'm just speaking in general. So don't give me a bunch of crap. You know who I'm talking to. Alright. So you see this right here? We seal that. That that's your head gasket plate right there. Okay? Now there's a there's a gasket that goes on there. That's not good enough for Papa's saw shop. We seal that gasket. So if that gasket ever gets warm and fails, it's sealed. It, you're not going to get a vacuum leak through here. Now again, this is a TS-420. Don't pick on me now because it's hard to get a vacuum leak through that metal plate right there in the side. Yada, yada, yada. I, don't know, I know that. But I'm just saying that's, that's what we do on all the equipment. First of all, that's something that we do. Secondly, i got a couple of these little screws over here. Now, see that right there? Take a good look at that right there. Boy, ain't that pretty. You know what? Garbage. Nothing but garbage. That comes with a... Not going to mention no names, but it comes with a an authentic head. That bull right there, I've snapped more of those stupid things in my life than, eh, yeah, irritating. So, when we anchor down a cylinder head, we don't anchor down a cylinder head with some doggone thing that came from God knows where, and they put their little sticker on it, their little brand on it, and they say, okay, well, it's super now. Well, it ain't super to me. That's super right there. That's a hardened steel bolt right there. So every Papa Saw shop build gets a hardened steel bolt that attaches the head, the cylinder, to the rest of the engine. We don't screw around with all that 
cheap nuts and bolt stuff. Okay, let me show you something else here. Every if you if you've ever had to replace one of these, you know what this is. Okay. Basically, I'll get down here and I'll show you this this pretty little head right down here. Okay, so this guy attaches right here. And on this end right here, this is where the carburetor goes. A lot of times, what will happen, there's a little lip right here where this thing squeezes over it. And when it's brand new, it's you can tell it's a little tough to squeeze over it. But, once it sits out in the woods for a while, there it's on there. Once it gets ran out in the woods for a while, you know what happens? Gets a little vacuum leak right around in here. Not a lot. But guys will say, you know, my saw's just not, it's not idling the way it ought to. Well, it's because that's, that's leaking a little bit of vacuum right there. And most of the time, when you bring it into a shop, the shop will adjust the carburetor a little bit and it'll make up for that little vacuum leak. But you know what it doesn't make up for? I got one of these. I'll show you there. See that little strip right up there, that up and down strip? Yeah. That's on the intake side of the piston, on the inside. Now this is out of a trimmer. But same difference. What that is is a small vacuum leak that was allowed to continue for a long time, probably from that boot. Okay, Papa Shop. Papa Style Shop, we seal that boot. We don't just put it on there. We seal that. So, when that boot gets a little bit worn, it doesn't matter. There's still a little bit of sealant hiding behind that boot in there. And that locks it all out of there, keeps dust, corrosion, keeps any kind of dampness, moisture, all that. Keeps air away from there. Keeps you from having a vacuum leak. What's that do? Well, come on, don't be dumb. It helps you to keep your engine going. And it, it keeps you from breaking down. So, here's my point. If you're using... A pretty head from a name brand company that costs more I'm here to tell you if you put that thing together the same way that they did at the company same way they did at the factory you know what most chainsaw manufacturers have a year warranty and if you did anything wrong if you didn't warm it up right if you didn't use the right gas if you didn't right use the proper gas and all if you didn't do anything if you didn't call your mother twice on Tuesday they're not gonna honor that warranty you did something wrong Papa saw shop warranty it's it's a whole bunch of written jargon that'll be on Papa's and in, uh, in Papa's shop 01.com but basically what our warranty is is this treat your saw right and we'll treat you right if something weird should happen and turns out something goes awry things do I mean everything's you know nothing's perfect so will there ever be a warranty issue of course there will somewhere sometime but I can tell you this much out of all the Papa Shop builds and there's been quite a few out of all the Papa Shop builds I've done in the last 12 months, you know how many warranties I've had? One. How many have you think you've done, Papa? Hang on a second. Let me... Oh, geez, that was close up. Boy. We get over here in the corner. And I will pop up some secret drawer. I don't know. We'll see if you can see this down here. There's my magic drawer right there. Those, my friends and neighbors, are the pistons from the saw rebuilds that I've done in the last month. 30 days. I have a little guy that comes in, he picks up all those pistons for me every month. 
So that's how many we do in a month. How many have we done in a year? Oh, geez, I don't know. We'd have to. But I can tell you this much. There are people from Montana, Washington State, Minnesota, Wisconsin. I got a guy as far as Tennessee. Special requesting Papa Saw Shop specialty builds. So, yep, I'm here to pat myself on the back a bit. You know what? We deserve it here at Papa Saw Shop because we don't screw around. You take care of your saw, and we're going to take care of you. Now, before I go, I want to share one last thing with you. You notice how pretty that head is? See that? Boy, it looks almost perfect, doesn't it? I mean, it looks like it's right from the factory. Eh, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, if you want a good quality saw, you want something where somebody with 40 years of experience puts their knowledge into that build. Now, that's a saw. That's a saw you can be proud of. I don't care what you got under the hood. When we put that Papa Saw Shop sticker on there, you know you've got 40 years of experience under the hood of that saw. Think about that. Till next time, happy motoring.